Previously on this channel, I showed you my amazing cake journey. From the very first cake I made in North America up to my recent cake that I made in Cameroon when I visited. Please check the link above to watch to see how this journey has been and please do not forget to watch after watching today's video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for your first time, hello and welcome. You are going to love it right here. To all my oldies who are my goodies, you know I hurt you so much. How are you all doing? I hope you've been so good to yourself. As for me, I'm doing well and I'm blessed and I thank God for that. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you an interesting and easy recipe. Stay till the end. See ya! Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this plain vanilla cake. It's a very easy recipe. Here are the ingredients. A half cup of vegetable oil, one and a half cup of sugar, one and a half cup of evaporated milk, three eggs, three teaspoons vanilla extract, one teaspoon baking soda, three cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of butter. Now let's begin. I mix all the dry ingredients together. Baking powder, baking soda, salt, and I add this to the flour. Using a whisk, I mix this together to incorporate. Once that is done, I set that aside. Now, in the standalone mixer, I pour in the sugar as well as the butter. I will be mixing this for about 8 minutes to make sure I get to a very fluffy, cloudy feeling consistency. When you mix this and mix this so well, your result ends up good. You end up having a soft and very fluffy cake. And also remember, when you mix, don't forget to stop and scrub the sides to make sure everything gets incorporated. Sometimes when it's mixing, it doesn't go right to the bottom. So when you stop to mix, to scrape the sides, everything gets together. Now in the cup that contained the evaporated milk, I poured the vanilla extract and I'm going to pour in the eggs too. This makes for my wet ingredients. So I stopped and scraped the sides. It's quite easy, isn't it? I know people love vanilla cakes a lot and this is a very easy recipe. You can do this even using a regular whisk or a hand mixer. That's still fine and it's going to come out perfect. Hello everyone, to all those that haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, my dear, please do subscribe, help me grow this channel, help me get to the point where we will keep growing and growing and growing, please share the video, please make sure you comment, you like, this helps to grow the channel, watch as I continue to do this. Look at the consistency. Looks soft, right? And quite fluffy. Now I added the vegetable oil. Vegetable oil helps to make the cake stay extremely moist. And we all love moist cakes, don't we? I continue to mix to get to that perfect consistency. And don't forget again, stop and scrape the sides to make sure everything gets incorporated. That should be your mantra. Now, 
I preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that is preheating, I continue to mix. Look at how that looks. So good, right? Now, I will be alternating the dry and the wet ingredients. The reason we do this is to make sure everything gets in, everything gets incorporated, everything gets mixed well. Continue to watch as I do this. It's quite self-explanatory, right? Again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please, please spread the word. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the red subscribe button. Let's grow this channel together. There is so much I have to share and there is so much to learn. We are in this together. It's a learning process for everybody. To all those that have subscribed and those that keep spreading the word, thanks so, so much. I truly appreciate your efforts. I usually do this in about two or three batches. Again, this is just to make it easier for me to mix. It's lighter on the machine because you don't want the machine to be overworked too, right? So yeah, that's why I separate, I separate it in about two to three batches. Oh, I, I'm so sorry I forgot to indicate that I have a cold, so my voice might not be the best. So at this point, I'm pouring in the last batch. I'm going to do um, a quick mix, not too long, just to make sure everything is in. And after that, we're pretty much good to go. I hope you'll be trying this recipe someday. It's very easy and the cake tastes so good. For all those who are not very good on sugar, you can actually do this with one cup of sugar or maybe three quarters or even half for those who are really, really low on sugar. At this point, we are completely done mixing. Oh, let's say mix for a little bit more and that's fine now i pour in the butter in the baking pans doesn't really matter how many baking pans you use or the, the sizes it all depends on what you're going for right at some point i just added coloring to part of the butter because the person who ordered this cake wanted some coloring in between, right? So I did that. I miss showing that to you on this video. But it's just simply adding any color of your choice to the batter. And mixing it together to make sure it comes out good. It comes out to the intended color. Once that was done. I put it in the oven. This baked for about 40 to 50 minutes on, until when a toothpick inserted came out dry. So I first started using a Swiss meringue buttercream. That was quite a clean frosting, right? Don't you love this cake? Very simple buttercream cake. And this is how it looked like with the colorings inside. And that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Do not forget, life can get bitter. Eat cake to make it sweet.